and 25 years? Yeah. Am I right, Tig? 25 years, and now he drives us home every afternoon on the home of rock and roll, WPDH, the Tig Man. Chris Marino, everyone. How cool is this that for an amazing man, John Regan, rival radio companies come together, stand here, and help with this special event? I mean, isn't it? I think it's great. Well, we used to work together, so we're friends. So, I uh, just want to say thanks to everybody for uh, coming out here for this amazing event. Unfortunately, obviously, we had to move it from Wappagers, but uh, this is great. Thanks to uh, the owners of the MJN Convention Center for uh, donating the building again. You can't, can't thank them enough. Uh, Pat Guest, Marini, and Kathy, and the whole Regan family for putting this thing together. It's just amazing. He needed a tribute, John did, and he did a good thing here. This is amazing. Uh, John was awesome. You know, I, I'll say it's going to sound cliche, most humble rocker I ever met, but true. The nicest guy. The guy had the most amazing rock resume of any buddy that I knew that I considered a friend. I mean, he played on a Stones album, for crying out loud. Played with Peter Frampton, played with Frehley's Comet. I mean, uh, just that's just part of his resume. Such an amazing career he had. And uh, I remember him coming to the old Roofathon events we do, the WPDH Roofathon, to raise money for charities. And John would come out and have the best stories, the most amazing stories, including how difficult it was to work with Ace Frehley, which I think we all probably know. But su such a great human being, and uh, we're here for John Regan today. Thank you, everybody, for being here.